This is the CT scan shows epidurohematoma, which is usually associated with skull fracture. The fracture itself, it causes injury to the middle meningeal artery. And the blood, usually it collects between the skull and the dura. Plus, the epidural hematoma does not cross the suture lines because the dura is attached more firmly to the skull. You can see multiple skull fractures, which is labeled. You can see the hematoma, which is hyperdense, and the presence of biconvex mass are both characteristic of an epidural hematoma. In the same image, you can see the lateral ventricle is shifted to the other side. These are other examples of epidural hematoma. The other differential diagnoses you should always keep in your mind are subdural hematoma and intracranial hematoma.